Hey ladies and gentlemen, as you guys read in the title and thumbnail, we are going to talk about the M26 Pershing. But before we do, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, it will mean a lot to me and if you guys enjoyed the videos, just please leave a like or anything. Um, my socials will be somewhere up on the screen as well. And let's get right into the video. The M26 Pershing is one of America's most interesting tanks, which was used in the Second World War and in the Korean Wars. It was also in service from 1944 until the mid 1950s, and it was designed from 1942 until 1944. The Pershing back in the day was worth $83,000 or $1.3 million nowadays. The M26 was meant to replace the M4 Sherman tank. But a prolonged development period meant that only a small number saw combat in Europe. The M26 Pershing was split between the 3rd and the 9th Armored Division. These were the first 310 M26s to reach Europe. Only 20 of them saw actual combat during World War II. First action happened on the 25th of February. Four M26s were involved in the capture of Breitsch Remagen. Until March 7 and 8, it had to take on Panthers and Tigers. It performed well. After the war, the tanks were redesigned from a heavy tank to a medium tank. 800 of them received new engines and a cross-drive transmission. Along with the new gun and a host of other modifications. These improved M26s came known as M46 patterns. With the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950, the first medium tanks to reach Korea were a provisional platoon of M26s dispatched from Japan. Additional M26s reached the peninsula later that year where they fought alongside M4s and M46s. Though performing well in combat, the M26s were withdrawn from Korea in 1951 due to a reliability issue associated with its systems. As the Pershing was phased out of American service, it was provided to NATO allies such as Belgium, France and Italy. The Italians used the type until 1963. USA historian Richard Pierce Honeycutt ranked the Pershing behind the German Tiger II heavy tank, but ahead of the Tiger I and the Panther medium tank. Now we come on to Virgo characteristics. It had a very thick armor, but unlike the earlier German tanks, except for the Panther series including the Jagdpanther, it had an angled armor to make its effective armor thicker. Its upper hull was 102 mm, its lower hull and side turrets were 76 mm and its lower sides were 50 to 75 mm. And its turret was 114 mm thick. Main armament. It had a 90 mm M3 gun. The gun was a heavy anti-tank anti-aircraft gun playing a similar role as the German 8.8 cm Flak, and it was the primary gun of America. The secondary armament were two M1919 Brownings and one M2 Browning. Now on to development. The development of the M26 started with the T20 medium tank and the M26 later developed into the M47, the M48 and later the M60. Mobility. Its mobility was very good for a heavy tank. It had a top speed of 48 km an hour or 30 miles per hour, but off road it was only 8 km an hour or 5 miles an hour. It only had an operational range of 160 km or 100 miles. This is the least of the tanks we've researched so far. And it had a Ford GAF 8 cylinder benzene engine. But there weren't a lot of them made, only 2202. This is only one third of the previously discussed Panther tank and also less than the IS-2, which sits at 3854. Conclusion, when you look at the M26, it definitely is an improvement from the M4 Sherman they used during a long part of the war. More armor to combat high calibers of the Nashorn, the Tiger or the Panther. It had a strong main armament itself, so it could penetrate even the heaviest armored tanks at that time. The only issue is that it was introduced too late into the army to actually help the allies win the war. But in my opinion, from my current knowledge, the M26 is the strongest American tank which served during World War II. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and sub if you did. You can watch my previous tank videos, I made a playlist for that. And see you all in the next video.